earlier today, we spoke via Skype with the Boston Globe's managing director, Linda Pizzuti-Henry, about the challenges facing an industry that can't shut. Linda, you sent out a letter to readers this week, and one of the first things you said was, we in the news business never want to be surprised. And yet there is an element of surprise to this, isn't there? We've never gone through anything like this in our lifetime. And so that's uh, that's surprising. We haven't had things systematically shut down like this. We haven't had these these orders, these scares. So, yeah, there's a lot of surprise here. What are you hearing mostly from your readers? What kinds of questions are they asking you? Um, well, it's it's starting to shift. You know, there was a lot. It was initially of, do I have the virus? How do I know if I have the virus? Uh, what are the signs? Sort of a lot of a lot of that, and then a transition to what what in my daily life is changing, what's shutting down, what can I still do, what can I can't do, how do I keep my family safe, and um, now it's 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 a lot of what's happening, how long is this going to last, what's the latest news, what are the numbers, are hospitals okay? It seems like that those are more of the trend. And the news business can't shut down, yet you have to be protective of the people who work in the industry. What changes have you made uh, in terms of interaction, interaction with the public or even with each other in the newsroom? So our um, newsroom is, is pretty much working remotely. We've thankfully been investing very heavily in our, um, in our technology so that we have the ability to work remotely. Um, and so everybody who can uh, does. And our office is in State Street, we have a very skeletal crew there uh, and a lot of precautions that we're doing to make sure people are safe. And our production facility in Taunton, um, we have to keep that going. We're putting precautions in to make sure people are safe. You can't just do coronavirus 24-7. People do care about other things. They care about uh, Tom Brady. They care about Chris Sims. Yeah. They care about other stories. So how do you balance that in terms of you know giving people a little bit of a dose of something else that they kind of crave at this point? Well, we have uh, people who are specializing in different areas. So our sports reporters are covering that. We are sport, you know, we have people who are expertise. You know, there's a lot of stories on the business environment that are happening right now that are incredibly relevant. And so we have people specializing um, who are expertise in different areas and they're still, still remaining to that area. But a lot of it, I mean, every aspect of our everyday life is being impacted by this. So. There are elements of the coronavirus in, in a lot of stories other than Tom Brady. <laughs> Have you seen an uptick in readership, both online and home delivery? Has that been affected? Our home delivery has not been affected. One of the things that we're watching out for is our single copy sales. If people aren't going out, that's sort of one area that we're looking for um, to, we're watching our numbers closely on in terms of um, traffic. So we have Stat News, Boston.com, and the Boston Globe, and the traffic on all three sites has really been um, tremendous. And um, one of the things that we, we've really, really been focused on, how are we helping people as well? And Boston.com has, which is also had huge traffic, has really been develop, devoting itself to creating a resource page. We built this this tool so that if you need help, you can put it in. And if you're willing to help, um, you can also sort of put your name forward. And we, we're playing, we're connecting people who need help. Um, we've also put a ton of resources where there's food resources, where, where you can pick up that, um, resources for artists, resources for kids and families and pets and just sort of mm -hmm. everything. Our, our community is, is hurting in a lot of ways. And we're really trying to gear, um, is gear these resources as, as best we can to help people. Yeah, I saw where you changed uh, names to Comfort Zone. And then, of course, in your letter to readers, there was that link that you were just talking about, the assistance yeah. line. So how, has, ha how effective has that been? Are people, I mean, you have everything in there, you know, dog walkers, or if somebody wants to babysit for, some, for a child who's you know, not in school right now, ha have people responded to that? They have. We've had a, a really impressive number of people um, sign on, and we've actually had a lot more people offer to help than have requested help, and we're trying to sort of get more, more people on there. But just it also even some people just want to know what the resource options are, and uh, we've been connecting them. We've had other news organizations reach out to us 
and say we want to do this for our community and we're we're trying to help other people set this up for their communities as well you know it's again there are a number of ways people are being impacted and it's 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 hard and it's not fair and um where as best we can help we're trying to one of the things that we're talking about today is just the impact on the news industry there are a lot of alternative weeklies a lot of um dailies that are going to go under as a result of this do you feel in a fortunate position in some respects that that's not likely going to happen to the boston globe uh, we do feel very fortunate, um, and we've been reaching out to some other uh, news organizations because, you know, we're we we want uh, as many as possible to survive and thrive. And uh, this is definitely going to hurt. Um, it's going to hurt the Globe. It's going to hurt um, Boston Magazine. It's going to hurt the Herald. It's going to hurt the radio stations. Uh, everybody's going. Uh, all businesses. <laughs> Most all businesses are going to be impacted by this. So, um, yeah, it's it's unfortunate. We are very fortunate in that um, on the Boston Globe and on Stat News, a large mm -hmm. amount of our um, revenue comes from subscribers. We are we are supported by our readers, and uh, because of that, even though we're losing um, some advertising categories that are no longer, you know, travel for ex example yeah. is in advertising as much right now, but there are other ways that we're finding to to um, to help them, but yeah, a, a number of news organizations are, are going to be hurt. A number of nonprofits are going to, restaurants are being hurt, sports are being hurt. Yes. I mean, it's 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 across the board. Everything that we care about in our community and everyone that we care about in our community is being impacted this by this. Linda Pazuti Henry, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.